Okay, this is a quick screencast on conditions. We covered conditionals briefly, and we certainly will go into them in more depth later on in the course. But for now, let's talk about how we can equate something and how we can test that equation. So if I have a variable, and I call something like uh, 5, and I make it equal to 5. Well, I can also have a variable called the number 5. And I can make that equal to 5. So if 5, the variable, is equal to num5, here's our first condition. Then we can alert they are equal. And the other option is to else alert they are not equal. Now a few things to notice here. And I've taken away all the reading for this week um, just so you can focus on good basic fundamentals. If 5, now notice the double equals. If they are equal, then alert they are equal. Otherwise, now notice how else has no parentheses. There's no else 5 like this, there's no else 5 not equal to number 5. No, it's just anything other than whether they're equal. So by default, it's testing to see if a 5 is not equal. Okay, so now I'm going to save this as condition. Condition. Conditional, that'll be fine. And I can go into conditional and just run it. And immediately I get they are not equal. Okay, well that makes all the sense in the world, but what if I did something like 5, and I ran this? What would happen? Ooh, they are equal. Well, that's interesting, because they certainly don't look equal, at least not as far as Sublime is concerned. Well, another big thing that I taught you was the word type of. What type of does is it tells you what type of variable is. So if I were to alert type or console.log type of 5 and type of num5, we would see they are equal. Okay, so basically um, when I log this, I'll go to my developer tools. And inside my developer tools, you see string and number. Well, this is the string, this is the number. So even though it says they are equal, they're not. So let's test for both equality and type. And now when I do this, I get they're not equal. So at this point, all I have to do is change this to this number and hit refresh and I get they are equal. Okay, so that's a little bit about conditions. Um, uh, we can go into more in depth, but I really want people just to understand this, the if and the else. There is an else if inside here. Um, I can say something like 5 is less than 5, then alert they are not equal. And the else if basically has a parentheses as well, just like the regular if. All right, so that's a quick thing on conditionals. Um, generally, what we would be doing is doing conditions and then outputting the response inside our HTML as we did in the last video with inner HTML. But let's do a, a, an exercise on this as well.